November is National Alzheimer's Awareness Month, so I'm here to discuss three ways to reduce your risk of an Alzheimer's diagnosis later on in life. First, following the MIND diet can improve thinking and lower your risk and slow the progression of Alzheimer's. The MIND diet stands for the Mediterranean DASH Intervention for Neurodegeneration Delay. This diet focuses on eating more natural plant foods and less animal foods high in saturated fat. It would like you to consume things like whole grains, leafy greens, and other vegetables once per day. It would like you to consume nuts and berries, as well as poultry and um, beans about twice per week, and fish once per week. It would also like you to limit your um, red meat intake to about four times per week, and use olive oil in moderation to prepare and season your foods. It would like you to limit things like your stick butters and your wine to about once per day, and then your sweets intake to about um, five times per week, and then watching that cheese and fried and fast food intake and trying to limit that to about once per week. Second, research is suggesting that eating foods with vitamin B6, B12, folate, E, and C, along with omega-3 fats, can improve brain function and lower risk for Alzheimer's disease. Folate can be found in things like your leafy greens, um, vegetables such as spinach, also in asparagus, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, um, we have okra too, that's another good source of folate. You'll get plenty of vitamin B6 in your bananas, beans, things like your walnuts, as well as your meat, fish, and poultry. For vitamin B12, opt for those protein sources like eggs, meats, and dairies, maybe yogurt or whatever you would like. And then for foods rich in omega-3s, look for things that include walnuts or canola oil, as well as sardines, flax and chia seeds, um, tuna, salmon, and oysters. Eat citrus fruits, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and peppers to get that vitamin C. And then vegetable oils, almonds, sunflower seeds, peanut butter, spinach, maybe some avocado to boost that vitamin E intake. Last, but certainly not least, be sure to get physical activity. Studies find that people who have been more physically active throughout their entire life have their best brain function. It doesn't really matter what you're doing as long as you're getting out there. It could be playing basketball, or maybe you want to go play catch, or maybe you like going to the gym and lifting weights or doing a yoga class. Maybe you do a spin or a boot camp. It really doesn't matter. Just get out there and get moving. While there is not one single way to guarantee that you won't develop Alzheimer's, by taking all of these preventative steps, you are giving yourself the best defense and the best chance of not developing Alzheimer's later on in life.